हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इजी इंग्लिश विथ रूपाली टुडेज वीडियो इज ऑन एडीएम्स एसोसिएटेड विथ बॉडी पार्ट्स नाउ व्हाट आर एडीएम्स एंड आर दे ओनली यूज इन इंग्लिश और इन एनी अदर लैंग्वेज इवन सो लेट मी टेल यू दैट एडीएम्स आर द ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स एस्टैब्लिश्ड बाय द यूसेज इट इज द सेइंग और द एक्सप्रेशन which has one meaning in a literally but it means something else when used in the context we also use it in hindi and marathi in hindi we say it as muhavre and in marathi we call it as mani kiwa vaprachar why idioms are useful Idioms are particularly useful because they give you new creative way to express yourself and also enriches your language. जिस तरह हिंदी में मुहावरे भाषा को गतिशील और रुचिकर बनाते हैं उसी प्रकार अंग्रेजी में idioms and phrases भाषा को और भी आकर्षक बनाते हैं Now let us begin with the idioms. First one is to keep at arm's length. To keep someone or something at arm's length it means to avoid being very close to something or someone or to avoid being very friendly. In Hindi we can say dur se hi salam ya duri banaye rakhna. Let us use it in a sentence. Example He keeps all his clients at arm's length. It means he avoids being friendly with all his clients. Second one is on the tip of my tongue. It means something like word or name you know it but you cannot remember it on a particular time. Second meaning is something you want to say but then you decide on time not to. In Hindi it is samay par yaad na aana Now let's take an example His cell phone number is on the tip of my tongue Just give me a minute Third one is to cost an arm and a leg it means to be very expensive In Hindi bahut mehanga in Marathi na parvadnare kiwa khup mahag asne Let us take an example I would like to buy a penthouse but it might cost me an arm and a leg. Fourth one is to keep your chin up. It means to stay cheerful and hopeful during difficult times. In Hindi, kathin paristhiti mein bhi aashawadi rehna. Let us take an example. Keep your chin up and we shall conquer this difficult time. Next one is like pulling teeth. Like pulling teeth, it means to be very difficult. Hindi me, bahut kathin hona. Let us take an example. Getting him to make a decision for hiking is like pulling teeth. Sixth one is old hand. Old hand, it means to have lot of experience. In Hindi, bahut anubhav hona. Let us take an example. He is an old hand. in advocacy seventh one is elbow room elbow room it means space to move around in or freedom to do what you want hindi mein ghumne ke liye jagah ya aap jo karna chahte hain uske liye swatantrata let us take an example it's a very small kitchen with a little elbow room last one is eye catching eye catching it means to catch your attention or striking hindi mein aapka dhyan aakarshit karna let us take an example his presentation was eye catching and that's all for today thank you